It's your Gazelle Freestyle Elite one-on-one -on -one personal trainer video. What's the Elite? The Elite's at the top of our line of the Gazelle category. It has shock absorbers. It has, it's built for a person who's 100 pounds heavier than before, and it has a wonderful, wonderful uh, range of motion that's going to be fun, that's going to be results-oriented, and that you're going to have a great time. The Gazelle line we've had to produce personal trainer videos for. We've actually produced uh, three videos. Now we're up to five videos interactive for in-home personal training. Here's one which is called the lower body solution. That's, that's, that's for your butt. That's for your legs, all right? Here's another one which is called advanced total body butt kicking. And I'll tell you something after I was done with the workout, it is butt kicking, all right? And then you have awesome abs. The thing I'm trying to get to here and explain to everyone out there, the reason why we produce the videos is for years and years I've realized that when I can come into your home and be on the machine the same time you're on the machine, and I can use custom music, and I can use interactive clocks, and I can use visual motivation techniques, then I know in the privacy of your own home, whether it be early in the morning or whether it be late at night, you can get excited, you can get jazzed up, you can get motivated, and you can get a better workout in the privacy of your own home with me and get more results. Welcome to Technique Demonstration. This is technique. <laughs> no, this is Moral. Moral's gonna help us shoot the machine and show you how to use the cardio heart rate monitor, the uh, resistance shock absorbers, and how to use a piece of equipment before we, uh, uh, of course, get rid of you and bring Lisa Ray up here. You know comment for that? <laughs> He's not like, we can hear you, don't worry. Come on, let's go ahead and show the machine. This is the Gazelle Elite, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna start from the bottom. First off, this is a 2,000 pound aircraft cable, so don't worry, if you're 2,001 pounds, you might not wanna get on this. <laughs> Very simply. Large non-skid pedals with a, a butt end on them so that as you're going forward, your foot never slides off. Right here, and I'm gonna, I'm, Marlo, if you wanna stand back here, I'm gonna go to the front and show them this, this new um, resistant shock absorber. Right now, where the shock absorber is on here, uh, which there's no shock with this, I'm just calling it a shock absorber, it's actually a resistance uh, a shock absorber. Uh, this is on the normal gazelle mode. And please keep in mind something, you are getting resistance more than the normal gazelle, even when it's not engaged, okay, because of the weight of the shock. So I'll take it back to this level right here, put it in. That's now level one resistance. Level one resistance against your upper body and lower body is beginner level. Take it here, level two, that's intermediate resistance. Level three, advanced resistance. What this does is it now allows you to get more muscle toning and muscle strengthening on your lower body and upper body just by being able to do that. Now when you're done with this, and you wanna go straight to the cardio mode, all you do is just go up and down like this, where I pull this down, adjust it in, and you're back to the normal freestyle range of motion. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and hop on this. This also, by the way, just for uh, Gazelle customers out there, this is built with a, a larger diameter uh, steel base. So it holds up to a 350 pound person versus a 250 pound person. It's also built thicker here in the arm bars. Um, it's really a commercial quality type of uh, piece of equipment. As we get up here to the arm bars right here, here's our cardio heart rate monitor. You put your hands on this and you can read your, your heart rate. It's very important for you to read your heart rate. I'm gonna show you the computer. I'll try to get out of the uh, Marl's way so you can see it a little bit. All right, right there, as we're doing, there's a the time, okay? Right there would be like your odometer. It'll start to read your, the mileage you do on it, your calories, how many calories you'll burn on it. Right, this little heart function. See the heart function right there? I'm gonna grab the handles and it's automatically gonna read what my heart rate is. Okay, right there. 95 beats a minute is where I'm at right now because I'm getting excited about the workout with you, okay? Um, and as you're doing this, you can constantly monitor, monitor your heart rate to make sure you're in your target heart rate zone for your age and fitness level. That's a real key to this program uh, with the whole body exercise. Another thing that we have on here, so you've seen that, is you have, of course, your water bottle, which works. See, you got a wet shoe now, which he's gonna charge me for later. Got a water bottle and a place for your remote control holder. I'd now like to introduce, because you understand kind of what the machine, it does fold up and it does roll out. Keep in mind, the scissors up, uh, these, I'm sorry, Marla, I forgot to show this real quick. Take a look at this, you simply um, pop this out, 
turn people around. This area here has a, a lock positioning on it. And you scissor this up and you roll it out. And you put it under your bed or you put it in your closet and you have a top quality commercial machine that folds up, not a piece of junk like they sell out there. Very, very important. I'm now gonna put this back on real quick because I have to uh, bring our model, Lisa Ray, out here. Why don't you come out? Let's show everybody. This is Lisa Ray to everybody here. How you doing? Great, great you're from, to be here. You're from Michigan, huh? Yeah, that's oh, right. Nice place. Yeah, nice a little place. cold. Yeah. But... <laughs> She's an international fitness uh, expert, a personal trainer, mm -hmm. and also a swimwear model, that's as right. you can see. You're going to help me show them how to how to use this uh, gazelle. And you've been using it a little bit now. I have huh? been. I've been using it every day since you sent me one. Thank you very you're much. Welcome. I love it. It's in my bedroom. So, Watch TV in the morning. Kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Probably one of the most fun cardio machines I've ever used. OK, let's go ahead and show them first how they get on. Um, mounting and dismounting the machine, you start with your hands right here and you simply hop on. In the beginning, when we do the gazelle, we want to uh, concentrate on the forms of the leg first, the technique of the legs. So put your hands right here for a second, Lisa. You slightly uh, flex the knee position, abs tight, chest up, head in neutral position, and she's going to start to just kind of like scoot or move her legs just a little bit. That's what's cool about the gazelle is anybody can use it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's anybody that can get a little movement Absolutely. because there's virtually no impact. I mean, you're not pounding your legs, yep. you're simply gliding in air. Very nice and smooth, start off really easy. That's very, very cool. Then as she gets a little bit more progressive, she can just change the range of motion. And that's called freestyle, meaning you have long legs, so you can get a lot more range of motion. Let's see some range of motion for everyone out there real quick. <laughs> Right. So all of a sudden she's getting more range, the more range of motion she uses, the more muscle she uses, the more calories she burns. Very, very simply. Okay, so that's a basic glide, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Uh, that's just to give you a, a feel for this right there. The second exercise we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into a full body glide. That's where you incorporate the handlebars. Okay, so she'll just start to do a little motion again. She's using her lower body, she's using her upper body, she's working her chest, she's working her back, she's working her butt, she's working her legs, she's working her heart, she's working oh her lungs, God. she's working her mind. That's Everything you want. Think about. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't have to think exactly. because it's fun. Um, so it's very, very simple. So what you have there uh, basically is a full body glide. And that's, that's a pretty cool little thing. That's yeah, great. So you showed them a lower body sprint, you showed them a, a lower body glide, now we have the full body glide. And then we're gonna go to a full body sprint. Okay. Okay. Take a little bit lower grip, kind of like in the middle right there. Okay. And just go Wah! Right? Full body sprint is when you're using upper and lower body as much as you can. Now even take a little higher grip and bring the lats into it. See, you can, it's up to you in the freestyle range of motion what your body type is. If you're larger or taller, you can do it. But as you can see, she's getting the whole upper body, she's getting the now whole lower body. Work. Yeah. And, it, and it, you're not hurting your knees or no. feet or anything, huh? You can still smile. <laughs> See? That, that's what we're talking about. Now let's talk about, again, with the freestyle range of motion, the upper body pull. And what she does is she just leans back, all right? And now what she's doing is she's working her biceps, she's working her lats in the back, but at the same time, she's working her butt again, she's working the inside of her thighs, she's still working her heart, still she's still ass. working her lungs, which is, you know, it's a cool thing when you can uh, tone muscle at the same time I uh, do cardiovascular or cardiorespiratory exercise. That's a very cool thing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, she's gonna do what's called an upper body push. She just starts to lean forward. And for some people out there, please understand, if you're real, um, like you're 90 pounds or 95 pounds, it's harder for you to lean forward than somebody who's taller or has a little bit more weight. She's leaning forward on it. She's working her chest. She's working her shoulders. She's working uh, her quads or the front of her legs again. She can go up on her toes. Well, I don't want to do that yet because I'll show that in a little bit as a different movement. But she's basically working her upper body. But again, she's still working hard. She's still working on. She's still working cardio. That's oh, the yeah. that's the key to this uh, the whole thing right here. It's very important. For okay, now I'm going to show you digging. Put your hands here for a second. Okay. This is what I've done with the swimmer models for years and on the Gazelle technology. And Laura, you're definitely going to want to get a shot from the back and the side on this. <laughs> she's going to go up on her toes. She's going to lean into the machine and she's going to start digging like you're sprinting forward. That's right, just like that. Let your knees bend even a little bit more. There you go. There, ladies. Ladies! <laughs> look at this. Got to get a fuller shot on this, guys. Look at her calves. Look at her butt. Look at the, what she's doing. She's using. Are you looking at my butt? Yeah, boy. It's, you know, <laughs> right there. But see what I'm saying right there? She's getting full movement. 
This is so important for people to see because I think this is probably one of the best lower body shaping machines because at the same time that you're using muscle toning on your butt and your legs, you're still using cardiovascular exercise. So you got the two, so you have two weight fat burning mm -hmm. is what you have, okay? So that's digging. Now we're gonna show what's called alternate, alternating or alternate uh, butt squeeze, okay. where you take the handle grips again, and all you do is you, when you get to the outstretched motion, you hold, okay? And then you switch and you have to do the other butt talks. Okay? Don't wanna be lopsided. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want a big cheek out here and then nothing over here. So anytime that you ever wanna work uh, your buttocks and get them more toned and, and get rid of that droopy buttock syndrome or that uh, back there. Do this where you get a range of motion anytime you want to stop and hold it and then go to the other side and hold it, okay? And that's the alternate butt squeezing technique, okay? The next exercise, um, this is kind of a cool um, exercise and not any, this was not available for all my customers out there that have all my other gazelles and all my other videos. I have found something. I thought that our sprint had the most range of motion uh -huh. of anything ever out there, and it, and it does. But I found that by just turning around on the machine, watch this, ladies and gentlemen. You want to get a full I shot? I have done this before. No, you haven't. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, just turn around to okay. where you're standing out this way. Okay. Hold on to this right here, making sure your hands are open, but you still got a good, uh, good motion on it. Okay. okay. Now. Keep in mind, when you do a sprint from the front, mm -hmm. you only get so high because of that crossbar. Right. Watch the range of motion she's gonna get in her hip flexors and her quads as you go up. Now bend your knee a little bit, now go as high as you can go up. Look at this. Now talk about legs. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's really where, neat. Tell me, I've never tell tried me, Lisa, that before. Where you would get that kind of range of motion? I have no on idea. Any machine anywhere in the world? <laughs> no idea. Right there, this folks. Is great. It is very cool. And just by switching, and now by not having that bar. Yeah. See what happens when you play? See, I learn something new every day. And we all do. And that's what's so cool. That's what we're here for. That's what we're doing here. Okay, so that's what we call that's the hurdler tough. sprint. It's yeah. very, very cool. Now we'll turn around again. Okay. I just wanted to, to show you that. All right? Let's do abduction, abduction. Oh, okay. Okay, whereas what you do is, for me, I'm a, you, you, yeah, you can put your foot so, there and put your other foot there. Some people can, if you have smaller feet, put your foot out here. Um, but right now, she's exactly, that's about a good right form right there. You can use the handle if you want okay. right there. And you just start to, to go out. Now what's cool about this, really cool about this ladies and gentlemen all right is as she's doing the inside of her thighs and outside of the thighs so like there's a lot of machines at the health club you can do this for oh, right sure well, let me ask you a question lisa okay as you're working the inside of your thighs and the outside of the thighs on a health club model uh -huh. abduction adduction machine are you getting cardio no never a lot of times you're sitting down actually <laughs> yeah, yeah you're sitting down and muscle toning but you're not getting any cardio so you're not getting two-way fat burning here in the privacy of your own home you can work the inside of your thighs the outside of your thighs you can tone them and you can use calorie burning from cardio and resistance exercise right. so what do we have we now have flexibility we have stretching okay i want you to hold this still and just take out this leg okay like oh no yeah oh, just yep. like that pull mm -hmm. and get as much range of motion as you can and stretch Okay, yeah. now she has a stretching machine. And there are stretching machines just by themselves in health right. clubs that are five or $600. So she can stretch out this. Now lean back with it even more. Stretch it, stretch it. Oh, yeah. Okay, now take the other leg and lean forward all the way and stretch it. Now she's stretching her back, she's stretching her whole body. So, and then what you can do is, so you play around this on stretching and doing your flexibility exercises, then you can go back to the adduction, abduction, Right. Right? Sure, like the martial art people do. Go ahead and okay. show it again. And you can go ahead and stretch again because she can pull this bar. All right. See? Right? Huh? Cool. A million machines <laughs> in one. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece of equipment. It really is. You've Great got variety. cardio. You've got mm -hmm. muscle toning. You've got stretching. You've got everything. And you've got fun. Welcome to your workout. I don't know what that was, <laughs> but it was fun anyway. Our workout. First, when you do a workout, you have to do a warm up, folks. You have to increase your blood circulation, your lung ventilation, prepare your body for exercise. That's really important, and so many people don't do it. But you're going to do it today. So let's begin our active warm up. Hands on the bars, just. Start to get a little movement in. 
start to feel the fun part of the gazelle. See, it's just pretty uh, slow. Just concentrating on legs. Think of the music. In today's show, I'm gonna do something I haven't done in any of my other previous videos. On some of the pieces of music, we're just gonna listen to the music. I'm actually gonna shut up for a little, a couple of the songs, so you can listen to them. Okay, now take the upper bars, start just getting used to the movement. Breathe in, take a lot of air. This is the elite workout. This is you and I, one on one. This is to feel better. This is to look better. This is to live longer. This is to have higher energy levels. You can do it. Stretch forward, go forward. Go up on your toes. Warming the body up, warming the muscles up. Getting ready for a great workout. You know what it is? Working out is no different than wanting to be the best at business, wanting to be the best in your life, be more successful for your family. It's how much you want it. Key words, how much you want it. That's what we'll find out in today's workout, right? All right. A little bit more. Trying to get ready. Lean back with it a little bit. Warm the back up, warm the arms up. Good job. You ready? Huh? Is everybody ready? Let's begin beginner workout. This is a good song, you're gonna like this. I'm not gonna talk much during this song, so when you start to hear it, it's very cool. But it's not just for women, it's for men too. Let's have a fun workout. Come on. Break it up, Rick! See, listen, I can tell them what to do. Just to read. This is for you, folks. I told him, not in the first song. Come on. What is that? Be free to get on with your life. Come on, you can do it. Listen to the music. That's what the guitar is for. Music. Custom music. Yeah. No, 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 that's not necessarily true on that one. Let's have fun. Let's go through the motion. Woo! Good job. Everybody wants to free. Be free. Be successful. Have more energy. Get more out of life. That's what this is all about. Woo! Woo! Is that what you're here for, folks? Get on with your life? That's what I'm here for. Keep moving. Oh. 
I wish I could sing, but I can exercise. Come on. So weird not to hear Tori yelling and screaming. But listen, to this music so good. Start to get a little bit more movement, huh? All right. Remember when you want to check your heart rate on this, whenever you take your heart rate, you'll have to clear it out to a zero before you can take your heart rate again. Very important, come on. Check it out. You can if you think you can. You better do it. You only got one life. How much you want it? How much you want it? It's only 10 minutes every other day. Feel better. Look better. Here's a little visual motivation, folks. Look at these. A good buttocks, a good waist, a good chest, a good posture. We can all look better. We can all feel better. We can all get more. We just have to work at it. Hey, there's nothing more important than your body and your health, all right? Wealth doesn't mean anything without your body. If you're sick and in the hospital, if you can't move, if you have no energy, if you can't support your family, what good is the money? But when you're healthy and you have energy and you're motivated and you're positive, you'll get so much more out of life. Come on, that's what it's all about. Life is very short. You've heard me say it on the other videos. Come on, you always say, life is short. Gotta go for it. That's what we do in this workout. We go for it. We do a workout to feel better, to look better, be more positive. Positive attitude. Come on. Come on. Train to change. That's what we're talking about, baby. Woo. Yeah. Listen to that music. Listen to that beat. Check it out. Check it out. Huh. Right here is your health insurance, folks. Life assurance. Longevity. Come on. Oh, next song. Come on. Hopefully soon. Come on. Would you rather exercise like we're doing today or like, like Gwen right there? <laughs> Little hyper. Probably not eating enough. We're, we're gonna go for it, but we're gonna go for it the right way. Whole body exercise, whole body calorie burning, whole body muscle toning, heart, lungs, butt, arms, chest. Come on, go! Move your body. It's always. Basically, the theme of this uh, video is how much you want it. How much you want it. How much do you want it? Because that's always the difference between the winner and the loser. How much you want to feel better. Woo! Good job. Nice music. We put together some, uh, some hot tunes for you. Yes! Oh. Whenever you don't want to use upper body and just want to use lower, just hold on to the handles. Remember, we teach you technique. This guy didn't know it. <laughs> Come on. Woo! Balance. Come on, your desire to be the best.
Just lean back. Baby, come on. Today is the present. The present day. What are you looking to feel like today? You want energy? You want to get up and go attitude? Well, that's what we're looking for today, right? Just get a nice stride. You know what life's about? It's about being active. Look at this. Swimming, hiking, whatever you want to do. You need to be active. Have energy. Enjoy your family. Spend time with your family. Go places with your family. You can do it. It's your attitude. Choose it. Come on. What attitude do you want? Do you want to win or do you want to lose? That's what it works out to be. Come on. Go. Go. Woo! Come on. You can do it. Go for it. Beginners. One minute to go, beginners. You went a full nine minutes. Pretty good for a whole body exercise. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Crank the music. Crank it, you can do it. Relax. Woo! Hey, you and I, one on one. Woo! Short movement, short movement. Lean back, look out, sorry. Woo! Come on. Come on, come on, go for it, go, 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 come on, beginners, you're almost out of here, beginners, you're looking better, you're feeling better, you're getting more out of life, that's what it's about, beginners, you're out of here, woo, beginners out of here, two to three minute cool down, you can join us in intermediate if you want, come on. Baby, I don't do this without any hands until you've learned how to do it. I've been doing this many, 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 many years. Come on. We're intermediate bodies now. Ha! You know what? We have more reason now to train than we've ever had in our lives. The world's changed, hasn't it, folks? The world's changed. Take care of yourself. You gotta be strong, mentally and physically. It's so important. Be active, like I talked about before. Look at this. Outdoing things, full of energy. You know, God made one heck of a world. Go out and enjoy it. Enjoy the forest. Enjoy the mountains. Enjoy the water. Enjoy what we've got, because we've learned to be taken away in some short moments. So go for it now. Come on. You gotta believe in yourself. You always have to believe in yourself. You know what? Sometimes people go, uh, make fun of you or do things. Don't listen to them. Think of yourself. Think of what makes you feel good. Think of what makes you happy. Think about, think about what makes you have more energy. Think about what's a positive role model for your children or your friends or your business partners because that's where you'll be successful. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet for a second. We'll get into some of this music. Remember, if you lose it, you didn't use it. If you use it, you won't lose it. Come on. Yeah. Get into it. A little more range of motion. Stretch it out. It's a whole body machine, guys. Make sure we always show whole body as much as we can. Come on. It's back. It's chest. It's shoulders. It's arms. It's heart. It's lungs. It's everything all at once. What it's about. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. 
Come on. Keep it moving. You can play a little bit. Pretty soon we got a sprint coming up. What's a sprint? It's a 60 second, bust your butt, go for it program. But if you can do 20 seconds, that's enough. Do as much as you can. Sprint, come on, turbo glide. Look at that clock right there. It's you and I, come on, go for it. Come on. This is where your sweat pays off, big time. Go, fast. Woo. A lot of oxygen. Come on, go for it. Power it. Upper body, lower body. You can do it. Come on, go. Lean forward. Lean backwards, come on. Good job, come on. Keep it fast. Put your hands down. Go for a short movement. Sprint, turbo glide, come on, go for it. You can do it. A lot of oxygen, come on. Push it, push it, push it. Come on, go, 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 go. Woo. That was an experience. <laughs> Woo. Listen to that music, nice music. <laughs> yeah. Woo. A lot of oxygen. Never quit. Never, ever, ever quit. Away. Just remember, you know what systemic exercise is, ladies and gentlemen? It starts from your feet, goes to your legs, goes to your chest, goes to your heart, goes to your lungs, goes right up to your head. It's whole body exercise. That's what we're doing now. Come on. Listen to the music. You can do it. Come on. Gazelle Freestyle Elite! Yeah! Mind and muscle. Like we wanted to return this name in this video as we're doing it. <laughs> Very simply, how much you want it. How much you want it. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is my producer, this is Rob! In his pink shorts! <laughs> look, he took the jump, the jump to feel better, to look better. Nah, I'm only kidding. He never made it. <laughs> Come on. Go. Have a purpose. There's no limit to what you can do if you believe in yourself. There's no limit. Come on. Go for it. Lean back, make sure your hands aren't anywhere near the wires. Just put your palm down like this and just stretch it out. Woo! Come on. Yeah. Stretch it. A lot of oxygen. We're getting ready for a sprint. What is a sprint? Or well, a turbo glide. It's a time that you challenge yourself. It's a time you take a challenge to do one minute harder than you've ever done in your life. To, to go for it. To get it. To go for it and to get it. You can do it. All right. Now sprint, come on. Turbo glide, baby. Woo. Nice movement. You can even shorten it a little bit, go like this. Come on. Just like that, that's the way. Come on. Your body was built to walk, to talk, to do everything you wanted to do. You're not supposed to be slow. You're not supposed to be in pain. You're supposed to have energy. You're supposed to have a will to live, a will to succeed. <laughs> Now's the time, believe me, and I go, go, go. Lean forward, sprint forward, sprint forward. Come on, go. Bam. Yeah, just like that. Come on. Woo. Short movement. Come on. Come on. Go for it. Intermediate. 
it. How much you want it? How much you want it? Come on, go. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Woo! Wow, wow. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Woo! Stretch it out. You know what? A lot of roadblocks in life, ladies and gentlemen. But there's always a way around them. There's always a way. You are what you spend 95% of your time thinking you are. So you better make it great. Come on. Life is short. Go for it. You ever hear that Zig Ziglar saying? He always asks, what's a big shot? A big shot's just a little shot who kept shooting. Come on, that's it. Same thing, remember? Like, right now I want you to talk to me. Talk to me. Um, how's your job? Do you still have a job? You better have. And if you don't, this will help you get a job. Because you'll have more energy. You'll get more out of life. But if you can't talk back to me, during the time I'm talking to you, during this talk test, then you need to slow down. Slow your pace down, cool down, come back tomorrow the next day, and go for it for a couple of seconds more. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Why do I show these visual motivation things? Tan bodies, things like, I'm not just showing women. Here's a guy. It's a male-female thing. Look at his abs. Look at his back. We all want, not necessarily to look like that, but we want to feel like that. We want to have our personal best. Go, 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 woo! Get immediate, you're out of here. Two or three minute cool down, and get your butt to work. It's now advanced. It's advanced. What is advanced? What advanced has a larger stride? They have more energy? They may have more oxygen output? They put more muscle into it? And when they're done, they look better, they feel better, and they're at the top of their game, which is what every one of you will be at. Come on, listen to that beat. Woo! Get some stride. Nice thing about the gazelle, at least, when you can go to the music, just get into that beat. You can lean backwards, you can lean forwards, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Come on. Woo! Come on. It's a lot more fun than going hiking. Well, hiking is fun after you've done this because you get to see nature. You get to be active. You get to see what the world has out there for you, which is a lot of beautiful things. Come on. Go. Dance. Come on, this is body, mind. Come on, body and mind. Can you imagine the endorphins we get out of this thing? <laughs> on the advanced level? Come on! Go! Just listen to that beat. successful? What do you call success? Is it money? Is it health? I'll tell you what it is. It's family. It's health. It's wealth. It's energy. It's self-confidence. It's like this right here. Having a wonderful day riding with your sweetheart on a bike. All the cool things you can do when you feel good. When you got it happening, when you're healthy, that's what it's about. Come on. Adversity to victory, that's what we're talking about. Come on. 
A lot of little bumps in the road. Just go boom, boom, boom. When you get to your destination, right? Get off. Always go forward. Never stop. Go, sprint. Woo! Ooh, listen to this. On the double. Short movement. Short movement. Keep your elbows to your side. Come on. Woo! Put your whole body into it. Put your whole body into it. Come on. Lean back a little bit. Come on. Close your eyes if you have to. Sometimes I do. Come on, go. Woo. Keep it going. Short movement. Keep your elbows to your side. Come on. Live with passion. Come on. Passion, persistence, patience brings perfection. Come on, go for it. Lean forward. Short movement. Lean forward. Come on. Short movement. Go. That's the way. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Woo! Woo! Good job. Good job. Just relax. Woo! Nice job. Listen to that beat. What other piece of equipment do you know that you can pick up the beat and get the piece of equipment, exercise machine, to work with the beat, to work with your whole body, to help your, build your oxygen and your, your breathing up, to build your mind up, to build your circulation up, to build your muscles up. That's what this is about. Come on, Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Getting fun. Talk to me! Talk test! What's happening in your life? Are you happy? Do you have the job you want? Do you have the loved one you want? Do you got what you want out of life? Huh? Talk to me. Because if you say no, oh, no, I don't have that, Tony, then you're going to get it now because you're doing something that's positive for your health, something that gives you the energy to achieve the things you need to. All right? If you can't talk to me during the talk test, then you need to slow it down, cool down, and meet me the next day with a couple more seconds, getting better every time. Come on, you can do it. Woo! Baby, baby. Yeah. Go for it. Lean in. <laughs> Come on. You gotta have the courage. Courage to fight for what you want. And believe it or not, that comes from a strong mind and a strong body. Come on. Whole body. Whole body. Come on. Hands down. Short movement. Short button leg. That's the way. Come on. Go. And go. And go again. Come on. Advanced. We have about 30, 40 seconds to a 60 second turbo glide. Go. A lot of oxygen. A lot of oxygen. Prepare your body for exercise. Prepare it. Come on, you can do it. Woo. Come on. You're advanced. All right, come on. You ready? It's turbo glide time. Turbo sprint time, your advanced time. Go, sprint, go on. I do believe this is your last sprint of advanced. Your last chance to look better. Your last chance to feel better. Your last chance to get more out of this workout. Come on, go. Boom, boom. We saved this one for last. Boom, go. Work it out, work it out, come on. That's the way. How much you want it? That's the theme of this workout. How much you want it? How much you want to feel better? How much you want to look better? How much you want to get more out of life? Come on. That's what we're talking about. A lot of oxygen. Come on. Put your whole body into it. Come on. Woo! Go! 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 Push it! 
Push it! Push it! Push it! Push it! You pusher, you! You're out here! Woo! Woo! Good job! Just listen to the music. Slow the pace down a little bit, of course. Workout. Great workout. You can do it. Every time you do 10 seconds more, you get more fit. You probably add more months and years to your life. This is longevity. This is definitely anti-aging for me. Come on. Woo! Yeah. What you want? The real secret of success: enthusiasm. Enthusiasm for life. When you just listen to the music. Give me your love, baby. Give me your love, baby. Woo. I'll be quiet. Thank you. Look at this. Crank it up, Rick. Huh? Come on, good way to end your workout. Come on. <laughs> Woo! A lot of oxygen. Woo. You can do it! It's always the way. Come on. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Advance. Let's cool down. Woo! Slow it down. Bring your heart rate down. Hot oxygen. Just breathe. Great job. Killer workout. You know what? Come to me for a second, will you, Marl? Life is what you make it, ladies and gentlemen. It's as simple as that. You want success? You gotta work harder than anyone else. You want energy? You want more out of life? It's up to one person. And that person's you. Not your brother, not your sister, not your cousin, not your mama. It's up to you. You gotta believe in yourself. Go for it. God's sake, always go for it. Life is just too short not to be the best. And every time you go for your best, and every time your children see you go for your best, they'll do the same. And you can leave this world someday knowing that they'll make it all right. That's a good feeling. Okay, come on, it's cool down. It's very important for you to understand something in a cool down. I don't want you to stop your legs moving and for any length of time, unless you're about 110 to a, probably even 100 beats at your heart rate. So that means if you get off the machine after the cool down and the stretching and your heart rate's still 110 beats a minute, if you check it on your machine, walk around, walk it off. Bring your heart rate back down slowly. Also, another thing, remember, 220 minus your age gives you your maximum heart rate. Beginners, 60 to 65% of your maximum heart rate is your target zone. Intermediates, 75% of your maximum heart rate is your target zone, all right? That's what you should work at. Advanced, you'll work at about 85% of your Maximum heart rate is your target zone once you get to those areas. And always, always believe in yourself. Don't listen to anyone. Don't let anyone try to tell you what you know in your heart is right. 
so important. Woo! After the advanced segment like this, you usually, at the end of advance, you like to try to get a three to five minute cool down at least. Bring your heart rate down. I'm gonna go into stretching with you because I think we need to stretch out a lot after this. So I'm gonna slow down now. A lot of oxygen. Okay, stretch out, take it very slow. Stretch, pull it forward, pull one forward, one backward, and hold. Oh, man. Now that feels good. Whew. Whew. Other side, lean back with it and hold. Okay, now we're gonna do the other one again, but we're gonna lean forward, okay? Oh. Stretching out the lower back and the legs. Close the upper back, other side. Whew. Very important. Remember, what are the three components to optimum health and fitness? You know what they are? Huh? Cardiovascular exercise or cardio exercise. Muscle toning or muscle strengthening. And flexibility, which is stretching, which we're doing right now. Whew. One more time, stretch it out. Now you can always do more stretching than this. That just felt good for me. That's the end of your advanced routine. I'm gonna go over to a friend of mine, <laughs> and I'm not sure it's a friend to many, many, many nations all over this world. And we always have to remember this, okay? Remember it. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What is the pursuit of happiness? Freedom for one freedom of your own choice to feel better, to look better, and to get more out of your life, not only for yourself, but your children and someone much higher above. Welcome back to the power tone section. We're gonna do the lower body with three exercises and the upper body with three exercises. Two minutes apiece. Remember, you can do this after your 30 minute elite workout or you can do it every other day just for muscle toning and strengthening. Statue of Liberty, pillar of strength. That's what it means. It means a pillar of strength, freedom, everything we want and everything we're all about in America. Well, let me tell you something. That's what I believe exercise helps you do. It makes you more self-confident. It makes you more positive. It allows you more freedom and it gives you more strength. Now, let's go meet Lisa Ray and get your workout. I'll put my, my, my shades on, Lisa. Uh -oh, and I'm gonna be her trainer and your trainer at the same time. Okay. Our first right. exercise is what? The power stride. The power stride. So, let's begin. Okay. Very simply, what we're gonna do, she's doing the power stride. She's on a level two resistance on the shocks. She's gonna do it for a full two minutes, which is basically, I consider pretty advanced. Yeah. You don't have to go the full two minutes. Let's look at the camera and let's motivate people. Come on, use your muscles. You can do it. How much Price? longer? Huh? <laughs> How much longer? Oh no, you got a little <laughs> while yet. As you can see, she's not swinging free, she's just toning. You have to believe you can do it. I can. Go. No problem. You motivate them too. <laughs> look into that camera right there, tell them to do it. You can do it. You can Easy. do it. Right. It's all on your head. You can do it. That's right. Strengthen. This is for your lower legs, your butt, your calves, yep. everything. At the same time, she is using upper body, but it's mind and muscle. Remember right. that. Whenever you want to concentrate on a muscle group when you're doing resistance exercise, just think about it. Yep. And you will put more emphasis in that area, guaranteed. I'm thinking about it. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. <laughs> it's not that pretty swinging anymore. This is strictly toning, isn't it? Yep, that's right. Toning and strengthening. Home to the bone. That's what we're talking about. I tell you, I'm starting to feel here too. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you to really okay. come on. They wanna see you power it. Power it. Power it. Come Go on, it. people. You can do it. That's a way, that's a way. Woo. Now remember, you don't have to do this workout. You can just do this on your own. Would you put it at a level one, beginner, a level two, intermediate, or a level three? Or you can do it right here with Lisa Ray 
and me motivating you on. Come on. How much time we have? How much time? Come on, go. Come on, you're almost done with that. Come on. There's only three exercises in this. Come on. Next exercise is going to be the power dig. Come on. Go. Go. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Good job. Power dig. Hands down. She's going to lean forward and she's going to go for it. That's the way. Nice music. I'm going to sh shut up for a second. <laughs> Listen to that music. Isn't that good? Yeah, it's great. See what she's doing here? It's almost like a, uh, a mini sprint with a lot of resistance. Right. Feel my glutes a lot. You feel it in your glutes? Yeah. Looking good. That's right. You can see it working. The reason why she's having a continuous tension of a rhythmic lower body movement at the same time using her butt muscles, her leg muscles, her calf muscles, and still heart, lungs, everything else. Good job. Come on. Dig it. Dig into it. There's some music there. There we go. Look at that. Come on, people at home. Follow Lisa. Woo. Got a minute. Minute to go. Dig it. Come on. You can do it. I can do it. Yes, I can. Right. Dig into it. Dig into it. That's a way. Listen to the music, ladies and gentlemen. There, you got a nice movement down. Good job. <laughs> We have one more exercise after this, and you're doing it with lower body power tone. Come on. Almost there. You feel it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you feel it at home, too. 30 seconds left. Come on. Dig. Music is such a motivator, ladies and gentlemen. It makes such a difference in your workout. Dig it. Come on. Dig. Keep it going. You're almost done. Good job. You ready? And next exercise coming up. What are we gonna do? Power squeeze. That's right. Inside and outside of the thighs. Change position. Oh, and you got a great piece of music for this. Go! Watch her at home, everybody. It's Lisa, one on one. <laughs> Crank that music up, Rick. Let people at home enjoy that. I want you to listen to this music and just stretch out as far as you can. Good job. Really feel that. Wow. Now don't cheat and pull on this. <laughs> <laughs> Look good. Look very good. Minute 30 to go, folks. Good job. Keep it up. Squeeze out, squeeze in. Squeeze out. Squeeze in. Nice music, huh? Yeah. Woo! Minute to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, though. It's great. It is. Very few machines that you can do this exactly. type of movement on. Believe me, you're going to tone, you're going to tighten, you're going to firm. Yep. Good job. Get your heart rate going a little bit. Into the music. Squeeze out, squeeze Woo. in. Good job. Almost there. 30 seconds, folks. Come on. We got it. It's your power tone yet. Getting to the end of your lower body power tone section. Good job. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out, squeeze it in. Squeeze it out, squeeze it in. Come on. Come on. Feel it? Yep. I hope you feel it at home as well. Oh, yeah. Next segment, Woo. power tone, upper body. Let's right. switch. Oh, listen to this. We gotta crank this piece of music up. First one is uh, power back. Okay, lean back with it. Short movement, mind, and muscle. She's working back. Shortly. There we go. Watch her. I'm getting out of the way, folks. You gotta listen to the music and watch her. Way. That's right. You're the star. Concentrate. Whenever you put your mind and you think about the muscle you want to work, even though it's compound movement, right. you'll feel it.
an upper body movement, guys. Yep. Come on. Do it back. Feel that okay, back. Okay, now, get some range of motion. Come on, okay. really get some range. There, it's all the way, all the way. Look at her, look at her. Woo. You can do that. Clean. Feel it in your back. Cool. There we go. Got a minute to go, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. You can do it. Woo. Can't imagine level three. <laughs> hey, you're on intermediate level. I That's know. a pretty strong. <laughs> Just think, you're working your legs, you're working your back, you're working yep. your arms, everything. Woo. And you have a resistance level of an intermediate uh, resistance program. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Good job. 30 seconds. Woo. We're upper body. Remember, get as much upper body as you can. Almost there. Okay. Next one's going to be power chest, which is... Okay. You ready for it? You're going to lean yep. into it. Start to get. There we go. Power chest now. What she's doing is she's working the upper part. Now keep in mind something. It's a compound movement, meaning you're using a lot of other muscles, but she's thinking about chest, so she's isolating and using the resistance down here to work her chest. Mm -hmm. And sure, she's still getting work on her legs. Yeah. She's still getting work on her butt, but tell me, you can feel it chest yeah, too. I'm concentrating more on the chest. So. Yeah. So watch it. Work out with Lisa, one on one. Especially because my legs are dead from that <laughs> lower body. Push it. Woo. Upper body. It's an upper body workout, guys. That's good shooting there. Look good. Push hey. it. <laughs> Push it, squeeze it. Push it, squeeze it. Only one more exercise in upper body. All right. Good job. You can do it. <laughs> You're feeling it, yes, aren't I you? Yes, I can. I can do it. Come on, everybody. Power tone section. This is where these shock absorbers, they're not absorbing shock. No. They're giving you resistance. They're giving me shock. <laughs> they're giving you shock. <laughs> so you're toning more muscle. You're firming more muscle. And what does muscle do? It burns calories 24 hours a day. That's right. And that's the key to this. Good job. Come on. All right. Only 30 seconds to go. No problem. What's 30 seconds? Uh, right. Man, it, in life, 30 it's seconds right is now. nothing. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Next exercise will be coming up. And the next exercise is going to be power arms. Good job. Keep it going. Chest, 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 chest. Okay. Let's start with the biceps. Okay. Go for it. Let's go. Oh, you got nice biceps. Look at this. Look at that flex there. <laughs> Work out. Right there. That's a great shot. Everyone at home should be doing that right there. Work your biceps on that. She's got it on level two. Great shot. Woo. I'm gonna be quiet so you can just work out. You only got 30 seconds on that and then you'll go forward. All right. I'm ready. Work those biceps. Curl, Mind curl, and muscle. curl. Looking good, almost done. Nice shot. Everybody at home, work it out. Almost there. Okay, now lean forward, triceps. One minute of triceps. Back of the arms. Push it, push it. The closer you keep your arms to your body. Keep it tight. You can work it. You can feel it in those arms. Go. Easy. Easy job. Try and get that full extension. Go, go, go. Push it now. Okay. Jen, your workout. Um, <laughs> Push it. Squeeze it. Minutes? Squeeze it. This is all in 12 minutes? Wow. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very cool, ladies and gentlemen. Keep in mind, if 
You can do this anytime you want where you just want to tone the back of your calves or okay. tone more in your buttocks or your legs or your arms. That's what the key to the power tone program is. That's what the key to these new resistance shocks are. Really cool. And you look great on it too. And so do you. Always be your personal best. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Good Woo. job. All right. <laughs> Good job. Great job for you. Whenever you need to tone up, every, it is important to remember, though, I think, when you're doing muscle toning like this or muscle strengthening, um, don't do it every day, OK? If you're going to do this program, do it every other day, all right? Always give a day rest in between on this program and have a great day. And check us out tomorrow, because we'll be one-on-one -on -one educating, motivating, and getting results like you deserve. Congratulations. Good job. Congratulations on your purchase of a Tony Little Gazelle. This video should help make assembling your Gazelle fitness machine as easy as possible. After you're done, be sure to stay tuned for some helpful hints on how to get the most out of your new Gazelle. Before you begin, note that some of the parts have been pre-lubricated at the factory. We suggest that you protect any flooring and clothing before starting the assembly. Once you're ready, Lay the two frame assemblies and the swing arm assemblies on the floor. Make sure the curved rear frame is placed on top, facing upward, and that the cables are above all the frame tubes. Be careful not to get the cables tangled up with the swing arms or the frame tubing. Remove the four preset bolts and spring washers from the bottom of the frame assembly. Two are on the rear frame and two are on the underside. Keep these handy. Identify the left and right wheels. Slide the left and right wheels onto the rear frame, line up holes, and insert the screws. If you purchase the Gazelle Edge, your unit does not come equipped with wheels. Locate the swing arms and make sure that the nylon bushings are completely inserted into each arm. Grab the axle tube in the middle and slide the swing arms onto each side. Put the axle tube into the frame. Connect the two sides of the bottom frame assemblies together at the same time. Place bolts, flat washers, and spring washers into each axle end. Hand tighten. Using the bolts and washers you remove from the bottom frames, insert them into the pre-drilled holes. Hand tighten. Standing to one side of the unit, grasp the axle tube and outer frame. Lift the gazelle upright. Be aware that the foot platforms may drop down as you pick the unit up. Open the gazelle. Be sure the cables hang straight, allowing the cables and swing arms to move freely. At this time, it is important to level your gazelle. Standing behind the machine, grab the rear handholds. Place your right foot onto the right foot platform. Apply pressure. Remove your foot and repeat with the left foot. Moving back to the front of the machine, make sure that the center screw in the axle tube is positioned at the top of the unit. This will help for proper alignment of the electronics. Using the wrench as provided, tighten the axle tube bolts. For best results, use both wrenches simultaneously to tighten these bolts. If after you tighten the axle tube, you notice any gaps between the frame and the axle tube, place the spare C washers between the swing arm and the main frame.
This will help minimize any lateral play. Now use the wrench to tighten each of the four bolts placed on the bottom frame assembly. To assemble the handlebars, you need to remove the bolts and washers from the handlebars. Slide the left and right handlebars into the swing arms, making sure the electronics wires face towards the center of the unit. Notice that if you purchased a Gazelle Edge or the Gazelle Freestyle, you do not have wires connected to your handlebars. Line up holes and insert washers and bolts. Tighten with the wrench provided. If you purchase the Gazelle Freestyle Elite or the Gazelle Freestyle, your unit comes with a water bottle holder. The water bottle plate is attached to the left side of the frame. Remove it by unscrewing the bolt. Place the water bottle holder onto the plate and insert the screw. Attach to frame and tighten. The water bottle holder can be installed on either side of the frame assembly. Pick the side that works best for you. Each Gazelle comes complete with an electronics package. They do differ slightly from unit to unit. The following instructions apply to the Gazelle Freestyle Elite. Making sure that the magnets face inward toward the center of the machine, snap the magnet cluster over the axle tube. Gently rotate it until you feel it click into place. The electronic housing is shipped in one piece. Push the release tab and separate the two halves of the computer. Install two AAA batteries in the top of the computer housing. Make sure to connect the positive end of the battery with the positive connection in the housing. Connect the electronics plug from the bottom to the inside of the housing top. Place the bottom half of the computer housing underneath the axle tube. Feed the raised plastic tab into the hole in the center of the bar. Align the top half of the housing with the bottom half and snap them together. Be careful not to accidentally pinch or cut the electronics wires when snapping the housing together. Connect the wires from the handlebars with the wires from both sides of the electronics. Any excess wire may be pushed back into the electronics housing. Clip the wire holders on the top of the swing arm to hold any loose wires in place. Your electronics are now properly assembled. The following instructions relate to the electronic package provided with the Gazelle Edge and the Gazelle Freestyle. Making sure that the magnets face inwards toward the center of the machine, snap the magnet cluster over the axle tube. Gently rotate it until you feel it click into place. The electronic housing is shipped in one piece. Push the release tabs and separate the two halves of the computer. Install one AAA battery in the top of the computer housing. Make sure to connect the positive end of the battery with the positive connection in the housing. Place the bottom half of the computer housing underneath the axle tube. Feed the raised plastic tab into the hole in the center of the bar. Align the top half of the housing with the bottom half and snap them together. Your electronics are now properly assembled. If at any time your display screen cannot be easily read when using the unit, you can adjust it by loosening the bolts at both ends of the axle tube. Reposition the computer and retighten the bolts. If you purchase the Gazelle Freestyle Elite, your Gazelle includes two power pistons for even more strengthening and toning results. To attach the pistons to your machine, follow these simple instructions. Attach a mounting bracket to the outside edge of the right foot tubing using two bolts, two washers, and two nylon locking nuts.
making sure you have the piston marked R for right. Attach the piston to the right swing arms using an Allen bolt, spring, two washers, and a barrel nut. Pay attention that the piston pin is facing towards the arm. Fold the foot platform up and pull down on the hydraulics. This will allow the pin to pass through the front resistance hole on the mounting bracket. Push the foot platform back into position and insert the cutter pin to secure the power piston in place. Repeat these steps to install the left power piston. Your pistons have three levels of resistance and a storage position. For complete directions on how to get the most out of your power pistons, consult your owner's manual. Your Tony Little Gazelle is now fully assembled. Stay tuned for some helpful hints. From time to time, you may notice some squeaking as you use your Gazelle. This noise is the result of normal use and does not indicate a performance problem with the machine. Follow these simple steps to help minimize this noise. First, identify the source of the noise. There are four main places to check. At the main intersection of the tubing, at the axle tube area, at the top cable connection, and if you own the Gazelle Freestyle Elite, at the power piston bolt. If your Gazelle squeaks at the main intersection of tubing, coat a cotton swab with petroleum jelly. With the lubricated end of the cotton swab, thoroughly coat all areas of the X bolts. Be sure to get as much of the jelly into the cracks as possible. If the axle tube area is found to be the source of noise, check to make sure that the bushings on the swing arms are turning with the swing arm. If they're not, you will need to contact our customer service department for a set of new swing arms. If the bushing is turning, it is normal. To reduce the squeaking, try lubricating the axle tube. You'll need to remove the axle tube and lubricate it with a lithium grease or household petroleum jelly. If the noise is found at the top cable connection, call the 1-800 number at the bottom of your screen and speak with a FitnessQuest customer service representative for further information. If you own the Gazelle Freestyle Elite and it is squeaking at the power piston bolt, slightly loosen the bolt and lubricate it with petroleum jelly. If you've been unable to identify the source of your machine's squeaking, it may be because your machine is not entirely level to the floor. Loosen the bolts at the axle tube and the bottom frame. Be careful not to completely disassemble the machine. Standing behind the machine and grasping the rear hand holds, place your right foot onto the right foot platform. Apply pressure. Remove your foot and repeat with the left foot. With the machine still in an upright position, tighten the bolts at the bottom of the frame and then tighten the bolts at the axle tube. This simple adjustment should level your unit and minimize noise. If you hear a clicking sound as you exercise on your gazelle, check that the screws on the bottom of the foot platforms are tight. Sometimes the wheels in the front of the platforms cause the clicking noise. This noise is normal. Each Tony Little Gazelle comes complete with a fitness computer. These handy electronics hints will help you get the most out of your Gazelle. If for any reason you're having trouble with your electronics, the first step is to remove them from the axle bar. Once you have done this, check all of the wiring inside the housing and make sure that it is free from any cuts or pinches. If your unit has the hand pulse feature, check the wires leading from the hand grips as well. If you find any cut wires, call customer service at the number on the bottom of the screen. Next, check your battery installation. Make sure that your battery is properly installed with the positive end of the batteries connecting to the housing post. It may also be a good idea to replace your batteries at this time. 
dead or weakened batteries will greatly affect the unit. Next, check that the magnet cluster is properly affixed to the unit. The cluster should fit snug and lock into place on the axle tube. Also note that the magnets are facing the center of the unit. If they're facing the outside of the unit, unsnap them from the axle and reinstall. Check to make sure that there is not a gap between the axle tube and the left swing arm. If a space exists, make sure you install the extra C spacers provided with your unit according to the assembly instructions. Before returning the monitor to the unit, check that the screw on the top of the axle bar is facing up. If it is not, loosen the axle bolts until the spacer can be turned by hand. Face the screw upward and then tighten the axle bolts. It is very important that these bolts are tightened. If they are not tightened, they will cause the housing to move back and forth during use and could damage your electronics. Reattach the housing to the unit, making sure that the magnet cluster is in its proper place. Place the bottom half of the computer housing underneath the axle tube. Feed the raised plastic tab into the hole in the center of the bar. Align the top half of the housing with the bottom half and snap them together. Be careful not to pinch or cut the wires as you snap the housing together. If necessary, connect the pulse wires. If after following these steps you are still having trouble with the electronics, consult your owner's manual to ensure that you are using them properly. If after consulting your owner's manual you are still experiencing difficulty, contact customer service by calling the number on the bottom of your screen.